Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Iron Man ROM version 1.1 for Samsung Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, S8, S8 Plus and Note 8. So this, uh, these three devices are supported just by one file and uh, you'll find a link to it down into the description. This ROM is based on Android 7.1.1 with Samsung Experience version 8.5 so this is full Note 8 port and it has the 1st of November Android security patch. When we go to Telegram, the Telegram group, we will see the change walk for uh, this ROM and uh, basically it's been updated to the latest based because there was also version 1.0 uh, which I didn't cover and uh, this is the first version that I'm going to cover so you can see that for S7 specific uh, changes uh, their Wi-Fi has been fixed and uh, the only bugs are that uh, the back key and uh, the multitasking key, the touch keys, are not working as well as you can't change the resolution when you go to settings display and over here you can't put it on full HD if I click apply right now the phone will uh, come into a boot loop so when you install this ROM be careful when you turn on power saving mode because it comes into full HD by default so if you're going to use power saving mode be sure uh, it is on WQHD so that you don't get your phone into a boot loop because I did this and uh, it wasn't cool. So a um, couple of things to mention over here. Everything is working uh, perfectly except the resolution. Probably also this is the reason for uh, the battery drain. So right now you can see I have 78% left and uh, let's say 75% with one hour of screen on time. Previously I was getting one hour of screen on time with around 80 3, 84, 85% but uh, uh, we'll see uh, down the road how this uh, ROM will continue. So I forgot to mention you have two kernel options during the installation. The first one is Samsung's default one uh, and the second one is the Iron, uh, the Iron Man kernel which can be downloaded uh, again from the description uh, but uh, to use it onto other ROMs but also you don't have to download it because um, you're given the option during the installation which one you want to choose. So uh, this is uh, really cool. So far the ROM has been very smooth. Uh, the device sometimes gets a little bit hot, not uh, untouchably hot, but still hot. So uh, keep in mind this. This is the second version of the ROM. This comes from the creators of the Batman ROM. So uh, go ahead and try it. It's worth it. It's cool. You have a lot of new features. So for example, face unlock. It's not a new feature, but you can see down the bottom. Right now I'm putting it on my face and uh, the phone uh, unlocks. Also, when uh, I'm going to enter PIN, uh, when I click the last letter, I don't have to tap uh, the last uh, number, I don't have to tap OK. So these are a couple of features that come integrated uh, into the ROM and also you have ROM control application, which is the same as uh, into the Batman ROM, uh, which I uh, reviewed a couple of days ago, so link will be in the top right corner right now. So be sure to check uh, this video again because right now those are the two best ports. This is the best Note 8 port and uh, the one that uh, you just saw into the top right corner is the best S8 port. So uh, if you're going to flash new ROM, consider those two because right now they are the best and uh, they come from uh, one and the same developer. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.